Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 526 of Fallout 4. Last episode, just look at this, like, I'm proud of this. This is, this is a crap shack that I can be proud of. And, it, and it's all because of the, <laughs> it's all because of the roof, as stupid as it is. But yeah, we made this little, like a square, square, actually, it's not really square. I mean, yeah, it's not, it's not even square. <gasps> it's not even a square building, guys. It's sort of squared, but like. It's got a fancy roof, it's got a power delivery system that's pretty cool. We incorporated this radio tower thingy here, because isn't Simone's icon like an actual, like, yeah, it's a, it's a radio tower. Here you go, man. I do all kinds of cool stuff. Turrets, rocket turrets, this place is loaded for per bear. What's the defense, like 200 something? 217, obviously I still need to work on the bedroom and things, and might have to change around the farms a bit, we'll see. Let's fall through the floor here, because pro strats. Um, I don't even know why those are still here. I thought I like. Did I like. Didn't I like fix that? Oh, well. <laughs> those don't need to be here. Dance is trying to come through. Where? Why? Wait. No. No, no, no. Why? Were these. Am I, am I misremembering? It's been. I haven't. It's been a day since I've recorded. Like, since this episode and this one. I. I don't remember these turrets being here. Okay. Um. Okay. I'm either going crazy or something. But yeah. I got this cool little building going on tonight, and I honestly, I do like it. So, what I gotta do now is give them a legitimate method of pathing into here. And if I use that wall, let's see, you got one, two, three, four, five, six. So, there's no even way of doing this, because it's not odd. I'll probably just take this wall. And I'll put, like, a decontamination arch here in an actual doorway. So, let's do that real fast. Uh, let's go to wood. I think this was under miscellaneous, right? This is the SMB snap door frame thingy. Yes, SMB modular doorway. And fingers crossed we don't mess this one up. The doorway cap. Uh, I would probably... Yeah, I'd prefer a window. Which one? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I like that one. Let's go with that one. We'll go, we'll go with that one. I don't think I've really used that one before. I feel like I used this one before. Unless I'm crazy and I use that at, uh... Uh, da, 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 hangman's alley. Oh no, but we're ready for a door. So let's put a door on this bad boy. Which one are we gonna use? Hmm. Also, still got them them crazy mad allergies. I'm sure you can. I'm sorry, like <laughs> nothing I can do about it. I'm sure you can hear it. I probably sound all stupid and nasally. And I mean, if I breathe, yeah, that's not a pleasant sound. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna apologize in advance for that one. I'm, I'm dying here. That sucks. Freaking allergies, man. Don't get them. Don't get them. But there we go. You yeah. got a fancy... Honestly, it's like a really nice door. I like that. We can delete this piece here. We can store this. I should give them like a back way. Uh, or maybe just a doorway up here would be cool. Like, I could put a doorway. I could put the... Could I put a piece here or... Would that block their head? I think that blocks their head. So let's go wood, floor... Shack upper. If I put that there, come on, rotate, rotate. If I put that there, does does that? No, that doesn't. Okay, you know, I can, I can, Okay, yeah. That, so then they could like loop around, and what I could do is I could put a doorway here. I don't think I need a doorway, but like a doorway here. So again, one of those little uh, those doorway frames. I kind of like that actually. Now this does pose a problem from like a defense standpoint. But so long as I've got a million and one turrets up top, <laughs> all should be well. Uh, I think we'll want like we'll want something up here too. We want we'd want to be able to look through it. So yeah, definitely we'd want to be able to see what's out there. But yeah, like enemies and well, enemies can open doors. Your NPCs are also incredibly stupid. And those are straight up open doors too, and not shut them, which is a bit of a problem. I use the white door downstairs. Why don't we just keep it the same? Use like a white door down there, white door up here. Like it's it's even got like a little, it's it's like not the patio but the or yeah the patio like that'd be the porch of a porch out there. I'd be like I have a little patio out here. It goes up to the farm. I am, I'm sorry for the sniffle there, but I I am liking the way this settlement has turned out quite a bit. I feel like this was the turret that was on the roof, and when I loaded the game, it like put those turrets underground. Unless those turrets were there, and I'm just crazy. I'm probably just crazy. I don't know why they're there. All right, so <laughs> either way, I think we're good and ready to make like a bedroom up here and put down our crafting stations because now everyone has access to where they should have access. So power, before I forget, 
Let's give ourselves that decontamination arch. You're under miscellaneous. Yes, you are. What's this one again? Oversized Nixie tube. I have no idea what that's for. What oh, that's for? I always like to have my decontamination arch just at the front of the, the building. Uh, because, I mean, that's where I'm going to path the most. Now, if I put it, like, here... I can walk through that with no issue, right? Yeah, but if I move it up a touch... I think that's a bit better. Now, that, of course, does need power. Which... Hmm... Is a bit of an annoyance... Uh, let's see about this. I think this will work. Connect you to that, no problem. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, like... I'll have to do this, too. I'll have to actually connect them. That's that's a bit annoying. So if I, can I connect straight to this? Can I, like, put you over here, delete you? Does that work? Ooh! It did. Okay. Really, jetpack? Sometimes I really hate this jetpack. Sometimes I want... Sometimes I want to go like this. Fuck you, inferior piece of crap jetpack. Sometimes, sometimes like last straw. Just yeah, you can't. You also can't see your, your AP when you're, you're building. You know. <laughs> sometimes you just you're just done with your jetpack, and right now is one of those <laughs> moments. Jetpack's great when it wants to be. Now this is not a perfect solution because none of these actually really fit the way I'd want them to because they're. This is at a 45, those are at 90 degrees. Uh, I guess I'll connect you like this and cheese you there. And then I could connect you. I'm trying to keep the the power lines really, basically just really close to the ground. I don't want them to just be loosey-goosey and flapping in the wind like your ex-girlfriend kind of deal. Like, we don't, we don't, we don't do that. I, I want my base to look kind of fancy. Kind of fancy schmancy. I mean... I just connect you to that. Eh, I don't like that. If I connect that, I, I like that better. Oh, oops. So, could you just get out of the way? You're, you're on timeout. You're, you're on timeout. <laughs> I keep trying to uh, <laughs> interact with this thing. It doesn't want to work. It keeps picking up the stupid turret. Okay, now you can come back. To hope you learned your lesson, you bad turret. Now, nah, maybe the turret needs to go bye-bye again. I don't want this to float like that. There's a little lip on the the roof there, and it makes things float. So, this is maybe not ideal, but I needed that to be powered, otherwise it would just be janky. And I will very likely need to drop a few more weapons and store them, because I'm running out of settlement building space. But, uh, yeah. Defense looks pretty good. I don't really think we're going to have any problems with somebody running in this doorway. That's not to say that I couldn't just put some turrets down here or something like that. Obviously, again, I don't really like the way this, this totally floats, but it's, it's all right. We've got two rocket turrets, two normal turrets, essentially just covering this entrance. I could, if I wanted to, put a shotgun turret there. Uh, do shotgun turrets need power? They do need power. I mean, I could put a shotgun turret, like, just chilling right here. <laughs> now, honestly, a missile turret would be better because it would get the things as they got close, but I could, put, I could totally do this. Ah, I'm gonna store it. I don't like that. I think the defense is good. Let's move past the defense. Uh, let's put beds in here. Let's uh, make a bedroom, shall we? Now, for a bedroom. With the way the roof works, I don't think there is going to be a way for me to... This is the problem we had in the previous place. Uh, like, if I put walls here... Let's see, give me, give me the right walls. Like, even if I put walls here... I can't really fill that gap. There's no, like, 45-degree wood piece that lines up with that. So that's a bit meh. I mean, we could just leave this room open. I don't have to make it, like, a separate room. But I could very easily, I think, if I get this thing to snap. I could very easily make a bedroom down here. Um, I think I'll go for that. Like, if, say I push this wall out. Is it easy to snap back in? It's very easy to snap back in. Now, because I got rid of that wall, is it easy to snap the way I want to? I think what I'd have to do is actually get rid of the floor above me. So if I pick you up, are you going to snap at all? Yes. So I can make a I can make a bedroom down here. I don't know if I want to put the bedroom like right here, but 
I totally can now. So, let's not put the bedroom here, but it was a proof of concept kind of thing. I wanted to make sure that this was possible. Let's put the bedroom back in this corner. Okay, so you, actually, I'd like you to stay up there. Oh god. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, I want you to rotate so I know you're, yeah, you're at the right angle. Oh, oh, okay. I did, I did it. It's a bit of a challenge, but I did it. Right there. Uh, I don't know if I really want to... Yeah, I don't want to mess with that workshop. We can, we can make like a little bedroom that's kind of recessed, I guess. We'll, we'll have to roll with that. And it looks like the game is going to be a butt and make me move more things than I want to. Bring you back down. Oh, oh. It was totally snapping where I wanted it to. Good enough. Uh, should be able to place walls here. Yes. Nice. This is... An interesting bedroom setup that I've got going on now, but I'm going to roll with it. I might even put a door here. I'm getting way fancy on this building. I like it. Like, <laughs> I'm getting way fancy in this place. Like, they're even getting... They're getting a bedroom. Or, I'm sorry. They're getting, like, a door. Like, an actual cool little doorway set up in the house. Not just the front of the house. I put the door right here to be a little bit janky with two doors opening into two, uh, in like in the in themselves. But if I put a doorway right here, uh, I, I gotta get the snap. It doesn't really want to snap the way I want it. Ah, uh, had it. Oh, it's it's so finicky. <laughs> it's so finicky. Look at this. It's like it's like literally one set. Oh. Oh, you son of a biscuit. It's like right there. Oh my god. I hate this game. I love this game, but I hate this game. <laughs> it should never be this complicated. Maybe that'll help. Okay. Okay. It should never be this complicated to put a damn wall down game, but alright. I'm rolling with it. I'm rolling with it. Uh, this I would like closed up. Oh, that's the only one to do. I would like this closed up because this is this is a bedroom. We don't really need windows in a bedroom. That's just uh, I don't need nobody peeking on them. That'd be kind of weird. <laughs> oh, I never said it, but guys, if you do enjoy the building, if you do enjoy the Fallout shenanigans, I do appreciate if you take a moment to like the video. It does help out. Means a lot. So thank you for those of you guys who actually take the time to do that. I'll slap a door right there. It's a that's a fancy schmancy door. They really have to kick that one down if they wanted to get in here. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to store enough beds in here. This is a, a problem we may have. We'll see here. What I did want to do is, like, push too far out toward that workshop, and I don't. I, I, I didn't want to, like, just put the beds in there. I don't know. I, I want to make this look a little bit better. Now, there are also two other beds, which, honestly, on the top of my head, I don't really remember where they're located. So, I've got to figure that out and go move them. Because, yeah... Um, I could totally squeeze these beds, you know, like, inside of each other and be really silly because the mod, but I will try to keep them spaced out a bit. Try to make it look nice. You know, that's, that's what I'm doing here. That's the whole point. That's the whole thing I'm, I'm going for. I'm trying to make a nice looking colony or a nice looking settlement. I, I'm trying not to give them a crappy place to live. I'm a benevolent leader, you know, like, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty decent. There, there, are, there are definitely worse settlements out there. It looks like I'll be able to put all the beds down. I think I'll be able to line them up. Um, you definitely need to come over a touch. So this is actually cool because it gives them a walkway in between the beds. You know, like they're not just gonna get stuck. It's not just a whole bunch of beds in one room. I, I think it'd be pretty difficult for these NPCs to, to mess. I this is. I'll eat my I'll eat my own words. I'm sure <laughs> it's a little bit difficult even for these NPCs to mess up the room, but we we know that they're gonna mess up the room. So that's enough beds. But remember, there are two ghost beds out there. So I could put a, like a a bed in here. Mm, I can scooch this bed a little bit closer. I might be able to squeeze a whole extra bed in here if I manipulate spacing a bit. I mean, granted, we can just do that, but. I was just on a, on a spiel about how I'm trying to make this place nice, and, and beds inside of each other is kind of awkward. I mean, if the if the if the residents want to go inside each other, 
that's their prerogative. But I'm not trying to put the bed inside of, you know, that's just weird. That's like, I'm not gonna force the beds to do that. If the residents wanna do that, well, that's that's how the world goes around. That's that's how babies are made. <laughs> but we don't need to we don't need to talk about that right now. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, I'm just messing. Uh, I'm just messing. That's still not enough beds. We still need one whole extra bed. God, I wish they wouldn't be so crooked like that. Like they're all all off kilter. Eh. Eh. I could totally put a bed in here in the center. And they'd they'd be able to figure it out, but. I can give him a bunk bed. I should totally do that. Everybody likes bunk beds. Look at this. Look at that. Everybody likes bunk beds. Dude. I, are there not any bunk beds? Like, are there, are there bunk beds? Because, yeah. Who doesn't want a bunk bed? I should just give these dudes all bunk beds. I want a bunk bed. I mean, I'm granted I'm like old now, and it'd be weird for me to use a bunk bed, you know. Like I, I, I call top bunk, but like, yeah, hey, here we go. <laughs> I'm gonna go with 20 beds though. I'll go get rid of the two, wherever they are. But 20, remember, Chrisman 10 and things like that. We can always get more settlers, but that's a that's a good start. <laughs> I like it. They're gonna have bunk beds. They're gonna have bunk beds. So where are these other two beds that I am just totally not aware of? Weren't there the beds that I deleted earlier? Like... Oh, wait, no. That's just the floor. Because remember there were beds around this little thing and I deleted them? I don't know where these other beds are. There's no beds out here. I... Uh... I don't know. I don't know where those extra beds are. Are they outside? What? I don't know. I guess we're gonna have to roll with it. So we got the decontamination arch. We got the bedroom. Uh, they'll need lights and things like that. But can I not walk up that? Oh, that's a that's a that's a deal breaker. Maybe like that. No. Just trying to find that happy medium. Would you look at that? I can't even walk up that. That is... I'm not gonna cut it. Brahmin, please, Brahmin. If I could pick you up and scoot you, I would. That's better. All right, that's not like all the way down. It's not all, it didn't snap. But yeah, bedroom. I'll need lights. Um, I'll need my shops in here, my crafting stations. Probably up top, I think. So let's do that. There's a shop out here. This person does not need to be on the shop. Hey, you. Go over there. <laughs> okay. I, I don't know what this is. This is a lookup failed to weapons. It's a tier three weapons dealer. So we're bring, we're, we're gonna bring your building in here, most definitely. I don't like how that dirt's sort of getting in the way of my placement. Like it's actually bumping up when I'm placing. You should be able to fit back here, no problem, Madam Shopkeeper. So that should be a non-issue. Uh, do I has other shops in here? Trader. Oh, anyone's like pre-made? No. You're just a. You're just a. Oh, see, I have one of those. I don't want those. I like the emporiums. I like these emporiums. So I'm gonna roll with this. We're gonna put a general store person back here. More. I'm gonna hope this fixes them being glitched with their inventory because they haven't updated in forever. An armor person could be cool, but a clinic makes them happy, right? We'll do a clinic. These are all just people that I can sell to, you know? That's all I ever really cared about was the ability to sell to these vendors. So there's a clinic. Well, it actually snaps right there. Kind of sort of in this building, but they have two, two little shops. And I mean, I could put one back here. You'd be the shady guy under the stairs. <laughs> Food and drink. Not one that I particularly value, but again, you raise settlement happiness. It's it's the understair bar. I don't I don't know. It's it's the it's like the shady place we all go to get drunk. This person will stand like right here. That'd be good. I think that's good. We got we got what four four total shops. You should figure out how to assign yourself. You guys are surprisingly enough sure. not assigned to things. You um, go over here. Got it. I figured there'd be food, but again, I have 19 people. It's been a while since I've. Weren't you assigned to a stall? I thought you were signing something. Got it. 
Yeah, but like I, I had, I had 90 people. Now I have 90 people. Now I didn't have 90 people then, so. Um, uh, well, when I sleep, people should update and pathfind to all of their stalls. Sometimes they get a little bit janky and they just stand there, like legit, just stand there. It's Fallout AI. We know how that works. Um, that takes care of the shops. I just need crafting stations. Yes. So we can have a chem station up here. I still need to put a window. Yeah, I think I want more windows up here. A chem station here. Armor workbench right there. Uh, cooking station. I want the stove because that's the fancy one. There you are. Power armor station. We'll put a power armor station back here in the corner. Weapons workbench. I mean, I can just keep all these things along this wall. Sure. Weapons workbench. We'll probably want some filing cabinets up here, you know, for me to store things. Let's see. Structures. Containers. Where am I? Where? Furniture. I mean, furniture. Containers. Herp. De derp. De derp. De derp. I like the filing cabinets. They're nice and square. They fit in the. They just, they just fit in well and in between things. Go figure, right? It's a filing cabinet. It does what a filing cabinet would do. Except for in this game, they can store things infinitely! Yay! Let's take a look at food, filing cabinet, oh, maybe a drugs one. Uh, nothing more can be built. Well, that means I have to cheese some things here real fast, because I still want another filing cabinet up there, and I need lights. So, would you give me the blazing baton? It sounds like... Sounds like an interestingly branded dildo. Like, I don't know, the blazing baton. That, it's like how you attract, I don't know, it's like, you know how people have like silly names for things just to get people's attentions, like superfluous names? The blazing baton. Like, every girl likes a blazing baton, doesn't she? I don't know, it just seems like a, I don't know, in business sense. Are there people down there? Why are those raiders down there again? What the hell? I will go fuck you dudes up here in a second. Hold on. I'm gonna drop my blazing baton. Uh, I don't need that. I don't need any of this. Yeah. Um, <laughs> those guys are gonna die. Suckers. And then no verde bird signal grenade. That'd be silly. He's like walking toward me and everything. Store, store. I don't know if I'm gonna get everything here. That's why I come out, not inside the building, but hopefully I don't miss anything because apparently there's a mini nuke just on the floor. I don't remember when that got there, but. <laughs> <laughs> Okie doke. There's that legendary cutlass. I think. Oh. Okay, I think that's it with that tire iron sealing the deal. So we have more building capacity. Alright, let's go do these dudes away. Where are you at? Where's the dude? He's alive. I mean, he's dead now, but he's alive. My turret's gonna shoot them? That would have been hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great to see that they had the distance. All right, well they're dead. It's interesting to know that like that whole thing respawned with a bunch of enemies. I mean, that's all the more reason to beef up the fence. Hell, <laughs> that's that's all the more reason to beef up the fence. Absolutely. Mhm. Mm but guys, it is totally time to wrap the episode up here. Episode 526. I realize lots of building. It's just, I'm, I'm having fun building, and I want to build. Uh, it's been a long time since I've been to these starter colonies, so it's good to good to revamp them and give them the love that they need. But we should be finishing up Zamonja next episode. I'll probably put down another filing cabinet, like right here, or something like that. Maybe a few more turrets, considering what's going on over there. I might change the field or crops around just a touch, but I'm really liking the door system, and I don't know. It's, just, it's, it's really cool. I like the little bedroom we got going on. I'm enjoying building. Absolutely enjoying building. But yeah, guys, wrapping up here, episode 526. Thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you next time.